what's up guys so this is going to be when your reaper fails so if you're going to be taking the opposite side of a reaper you can see we went short there and we put our stop at the high of the reaper gap now i've already done a couple videos on how to find the reaper gap so this is for when it fails you can see to the left there's two buy entries we actually took that buy entry if you watched the video i posted before this one we took that buy entry and once it broke down right that's what i'm trying to show you here is it has to break and close back through that after having longs then we can go short we want to put our stop at the top of that reaper and look for at least two to one preferably three to one now you don't have to just pull it blindly you can still trade based on whatever concept you're using or whatever price action that you'd like to use but the reaper is kind of like the backbone or the skeleton as to what we're trading so with that being said you have to understand that the reaper is not always going to be perfect but once you get good at finding it it becomes very easy to kind of be nimble around it you do have to keep time in mind you have to trade around the right sessions and not just any reaper but that's you know with every single price action technique that we use so just wanted to show you this video again to show you you have to have those two buys that occur first and then you start looking for the shorts go short preferably within the reaper you can see my entry is a little bit lower here but my stop kind of compensates for some of that and we got lucky with a straight run it ran straight down to our profit and so we had that low down there that green line we we're looking for it to hit and this ran for about a two to one and there you see it hit so hope this helped you with the reaper leave a comment if you have any questions and looking forward to talking with you real soon. Peace, y'all. You have a good one.